What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. In the last episode, we we started Chapter 4, I believe. We've got these interesting-looking turrets in front of us, and... Yeah, I had my first real struggle moment with one of the puzzles. And now we're hopefully going to... Figure out whatever it may be. For what it's worth, I do appreciate these laser puzzles more so than puzzles involving turrets. So, I guess that's worth something. What does this say? Well, nothing at least I don't I wasn't already thinking regarding using the uh, laser blocks. The thing is, once I'm up here, it'll be difficult to get back up here. Are those turrets over there? Those totally are. Darn. But they're all looking that way. So I'm not too concerned about them at the moment. What is that? Hello? It's like, what, what is that sound effect? Am I about to be attacked? So there's obviously a laser up there. And we can fire a portal up there. Let's take a look at what's going on up there. Without getting hit by the laser, of course. Now, what's worth noting is we're probably going to have to use a cube here, right? What happens if I were to fire it back at itself? Oh, come on. Nothing? Okay. I've probably got to send it over here. Right? That's something. So now that I have that there, I still can't get much going on over there, can I? Not to my knowledge, at least. So if I've got that up there, then what? Then what is the question? I still have another block up there. Maybe I can jump to that platform? I guess we'll find out soon enough, right? Probably not. And according to, or as expected, probably not is the correct answer. What about up there? Oh, we can do something there. What's down here? Oh! These guys, I see. I got really disoriented there for a moment. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Whoa. Really flying up there now. Alright, so let's take a minute take a look at what's going on while we're up here. I'd imagine we're getting some sort of perspective or the ability to shoot at something we normally wouldn't get to. But I'm not really seeing that right now. It's not like I can move a whole lot once I'm in the air. I think what may need to happen is I get up on this ledge and can drop down there as a result. But I do ultimately think this is what I'm gonna have to do. Let's see here. So if I fall through this, I'm moving forward a little bit. Ah, oh, it's not quite enough. I've got to change my momentum going into it. That's not going to do it. What about the ones to the right? Or are they all just the same? Wait a minute. That was the that was the wrong move. What I need to do is change the position of this portal. Oh, can I only fire the portal there? I see. Interesting. Regardless, I don't think I've finished this puzzle yet, so we'll, we'll work on that first. Is there any way for me to get up there? I think there is. I'm going to have to use that device once I'm over here. How do I get up there, though? Is there, like, a convenient way for me to get up there? I don't think I can jump up there. I guess what I can do is fling myself onto this and then while I'm going through here, fire the blue portal up there and that way I'll use all the momentum to fly across there. That's all I can really <clears throat> think of at the moment though, so we'll give it a go. Nice. So that worked. Um, obviously I'm supposed to 
have something at the moment though. I probably need that cube. So that should be my next order of business, is finding that cube, because then once I have this cube, I can probably redirect this laser in that direction towards that light. Oh, and there's another cube up there. Okay, yeah, clearly I need to be doing this. Oh, I didn't even realize that was up there. That makes things a lot easier. Alright, so we're gonna pick you up once I'm not standing on you. And again, what we can do is just uh, fire a portal over there, and then, I don't know, do something like that. And drop on down. Oh wait, I can't fire the portal while I'm doing that though. That's somewhat problematic. It's not like I can just throw this while it's going on too. Oh! Ooh, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I feel pretty cool for doing that. <laughs> so, we'll take those. Alright, so that laser's all set up now. Now, what's the next step? So I need to redirect this laser probably over there. So the next thing I'm going to want to do is grab that block. The question is, how do I get that block? Well... It looks like I'm probably going to want to launch myself from over here, potentially. Like that? Let's take a look from up here first, before we do anything else. So from up here, if I had a cube, I could take out those guys and fire at that. And once I've done that, I should be able to launch myself from up there and make my way to the exit. So the goal then is definitely to get this cube down here. And I think I'm going to need to do that by launching myself from there. Because I don't see any place from the ground I could launch myself upwards towards that pillar. Or from over there. So yeah, it looks like that'll be the case. So again, we'll do this thing where we jump up and then fire probably right around here at the bottom of this top block. We can use the, the grid-like lines to approximate where we're going to come out. Yeah, let's go towards this first horizontal line up there. Alright, here we go, guys. And... That was the wrong button. <laughs> that was the wrong button. Okay, let's try that. Well, I was definitely disoriented. I definitely hit that. Turret deploying. Huh? Huh? Don't be looking at me like that. Uh, so we could try that again. Wasn't quite enough, but that's all right. We'll we'll try this again. Don't expect to get it on the first try necessarily. Did I get it? Did I did I hit it? I jumped over it for sure. Is the cube over there? Can't even see that well. well let's take a peek. Well, the cube is definitely not up there anymore. So where is the cube? Is it up? Is it up there? Where did it go? We definitely hit it. Let's take a look. This cube is still here. Oh wait, <laughs> there there wasn't a cube there originally. Can we like settle set you down and okay there we go. All right, let's take out these guys. Kaboom! Alright, so that should be good there. And now, the final part is going to be launching or firing a portal up there. Cool, let's do it. No, wrong button again. Alright, that should be good. Did we make it? We made it. Over the laser and through the door. Whew, only took ten moment, minutes. And I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. For one of both of us. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me that that's what you think of GLaDOS. Uh, again, the, the humor is appreciated on this relatively slow morning on my end. But no, that was a cool puzzle. I really liked the whole letting go of the cube, shooting a portal, and then re-grabbing the cube mid-air. That was 
<laughs> Felt pretty pro for doing that. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right. The facility is completely operational again. Completely, uh-huh. I mean, admittedly, this place looks a lot more like the original portal and a lot cleaner than the previous ones. So, we take that for what it's worth. Um, I think the first thing we want to do is identify where do I need to send all of these lasers, right? There are three different areas where I need to get the lasers. What's interesting is I only have two blocks. So that's... So I'm going to have to utilize a couple different ones. I think what might be interesting is if I use one block to reflect two, or I guess redirect two of the different lasers. So if I place a block like, well, like right here, what'll happen, you know? A little, little bit more. There we go. So now what happens if I move this one out of the way, for example? It's just going to be like doubly strong or something? <laughs> the sound effect. So clearly... I gotta make some portal shenanigans happen, because that's how this game works. I can't use this one for the sake of a portal. However, I feel like I can use either of these other ones because this one doesn't, but these two both go towards, well, walls. The question is, which of these can I use to redirect towards, well, hmm, one of them. So this is obviously a bit different. Because I can use the portals for one laser, and I can use the blocks to redirect towards one laser. Hmm. Because, like, for example, I could, I don't know, take a portal, put it there, and, I don't know, have it spit out there, and that'll work, right? But I can't do that again with that one over there. I think the question is, can I redirect this laser through this portal as well? And get it to uh, become something useful for us? Let's see here. Is that too sharp of an angle? It is. So maybe something like this. <laughs> the sound effects. So now we have an extra cube to work with. The thing is... We can't re we can't afford to redirect these, right? So I think what I need to end up doing is redirect this laser through this at a specific angle. I think that should do it, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That was a, that was a pretty clever puzzle. I'm a fan. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. Oh really? Why is that? You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim <laughs> out the fat. I'm surprised Gladys wasn't like, and that fat includes you. Haha, or <laughs> something, something like that. There, I feel like there wasn't a, uh, a jab at us or anything. Or, I mean, it could be a subtle poke at I us having gained weight during our relaxation. Not a fake. Tragic surprise like last time. Oh boy, is it cake? A real surprise. Real. Tragic consequences. Thanks, T Pain. <laughs> and real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. Okay, so. Oh, there's a cube over there. Or we're gonna need to dispense a cube at some point, presumably. The question is, one, how? Is that what that is up there? Let's see. That is indeed what that is up there. So we can drop a 
What's going on? Who turned off the lights? <laughs> nice surprise, GLaDOS. <laughs> speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. <laughs> Accents are beyond ranges of hearing, huh? Look, Metal Ball, I can. <laughs> oh, okay, whoa! What is going on? Oh, wrong way? Definitely the wrong way. <laughs> Wheelie, did you think any of this through? <laughs> Alright, I mean, if you have plans for shutting down the neurotoxin and everything, which way? Shutting down the neurotoxin, shutting down the turrets, etc. I mean, by all means, go for it. I'm not so confident that'll be happening. Why don't you just do it? Wow. That had me going. <laughs> I was like, no, did I make the wrong decision? Wow, so it looks like we're giving the escape a go, and GLaDOS is fully aware of both Wheatley and my own attempt, uh, or desire to escape. Not that it should be surprising, but... Oh, it's not, we're not done with the escape part yet. Well, I don't imagine we'll be done with the escape part for a long time, but... Now where? Oh my! Nope, could not get out. <laughs> Realized that the the lasers were turrets well beyond the point of no return. Come on, come on. I'm going, Wheatley. <laughs> the music's intense. I was listening to some of the soundtrack from this game, and it is hype. What's going on in there? Is there another one that's going to show up over here? There. All right, we're going to knock you over. Knock you over. And we're going to leave you behind. Where am I supposed to go from here? Huh? Can I not go through here? In the tube? Game? Do I bust through? Do I use the portal gun? Can I go in the tube? I'm confused. I was progressing this way. Presumably continue doing so. There's a portal place. Can I shoot a portal anywhere else? Woo! Where do I where do I go? Wheatley! Wheatley, where are you at? Help me out! Um, I'm, I mean, I'm boxed in here no matter what. Alright, there's clearly something I'm missing. Can I not, like, jump in the tube or something? Can I jump up there, or fire portal there, or there? What about up there? That was obscure. <laughs> that was obscure to say the least. Oh, so we're actually going the right way. That was the intended route. I'm a going, Wheatley. If only I had a sprint button. Not that a game like Portal 2 really needs one. I feel like Lettuce is going to be like false hope. Oh my. I feel like Lados is like intentionally letting us go. Man, this is loud. Get in the lift. I I am in the lift. Um. The other side. I'm not so confident we've made it out just yet. I'm still pretty skeptical. I feel like that was way too easy for something as intelligent as GLaDOS, who has control over so much of the facility. Also, did I call it that we weren't going to make it to 22 before the escape happened? Or did I call it?
So the escape continues. Oh, brilliant! You made it through. Well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. Of we course we do. What's that mean? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Wheatley. Wheatley. Okay, all right. So, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Oh, boy. Here we go. Wheatley. Ah! Huh? Oh, for God's sake. They told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that. <laughs> but I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. That's hilarious. The dystopian themes are real. Man, I'm, I'm digging this part. This is getting my horror senses going. Granted, I know they Portal 2 is not a horror game by any means, but this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams. <laughs> of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. <laughs> Wheatley, you are too funny. Am I supposed to go through here? Is this is this like where I'm supposed to go? Yes, no? Maybe? Doesn't seem so. What about here? No? Over here? Try to jump across. Across where? Here? Oh, okay. Let's My invisibility is a little bit restricted, Wheatley. We were getting a little bit of lore there, though. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it's going to go out in the middle. Oh. I'm surprised. Uh, but yeah, we were getting a little bit of lore about the, the caretaker of the factory going crazy. This looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. And, um... What's it called? Oh, nicely done. Going crazy, slaughtering all of the robots, etc. Ah, I see. Wait a minute, that doesn't look like a very fun place to end up. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story, you might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, <laughs> guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. That's hilarious. The worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I wouldn't say smelly. <laughs> just, just to the Sorry about that. That just that just slipped out. You're being sensitive. Um, <laughs> oh, Wheatley, you're too funny. Is there a door over here or something? Oh, am I supposed to get up there? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I mean, they're they're doing a good job of using the lighting for the sake of directing me, which is appreciated in this time of not knowing where to go. Now where? That wall back there. Yeah, I can try. Wheatley. There's another wall over here. Wheatley, where where are you? Over there? Is that where you want me to go? I feel like there's a secret over there or something. I'll tell you. Humans. Oh, love them. Just the way they look. Great. <laughs> Wheatley, it's okay. You don't have to regrain the ground from your smelly comment. <laughs> Wow, so this is where they're building all the turrets and everything. Interesting. That's pretty neat to see. Ooh, we get some natural light again. Well, we'll see how natural the light actually is, but... Am I supposed to... Ah, these are clearly right. platforms for me. Well, I'm gonna take this rail down the back way. See you at the bottom. Good luck. What? Wheatley! Wheatley, get back here! Oh, I can't fire a portal. I wonder how well they uh, they actually work. Um, we're gonna go for it. Whew. That was tense. And now what? Clearly there's a portal wall or whatever behind here. But I thought the whole point was to see me at the bottom. I hope they don't mean like bottom bottom. Like am I really supposed to fall here? I doubt it. Right? But I don't see anywhere else to go. Up there, maybe? Ah. 
Great, great aim, Nick. Great aim. <laughs> Let's try this again. Alright, that should be much better. I almost... Wow. Nice one. Nice. <laughs> That was some quality platforming there, guys. That's that's what you sign up for. That's why you're on YouTube. That's why you're watching me play. Uh, all right, we'll we'll speed run this. You ready, guys? Speed run tactics coming up. Right. Well, I'm gonna take this well. Would you look at that? Hardcore speed run. All right, let's let's do this carefully. <laughs> now we're here, nice. And then from here, we can continue going, of course. Finally, getting a few deaths, I guess. I'm I'm so curious. The, it feels like the escape is so soon, and I feel like there's got to be so much more after it, right? The escape isn't as I don't know intense as it was last time. Plot twist, Wheatley's the bad guy all along turret or something. Lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Redemption. I see. We're supposed to uh, looks like it. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. <laughs> They're not rides, that's really funny. You can probably jump on here. Oof. Okay, okay. Jump up here. Can we jump up here? We cannot. Can I make a portal there? I cannot. Where can I make a portal? Can I really not jump up here? Seems not. Um, any other place I can make a portal? Maybe I have to, maybe I'm supposed to not be over here, but instead be jumping somewhere else. That's okay. <laughs> Gotta love my, my first person platforming skills. Okay. So we'll set up a portal there again. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Anything further up, I see? No. Okay. So turret we can do this. We can head down this way a little bit more. Ah, uh, this is clearly the intended platform. Alright. Now what? I wonder if there's like an Easter egg or something if we go down there. I feel like there would be. That'd be a good idea in my opinion. Oh, great. Is this one actually semi-functional? Or is it just doing that to scare me? I'm different. Aww. Um. Alright. We'll walk the tightrope. And then... And then what? Am I supposed to be jumping down these? Presumably? I think so. You can walk down under this catwalk. I think we're good. Wheatley! I need your guidance! Help, Target plus! Acquired. Yikes. <laughs> Doing a great job at aiming. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um. I can't. I don't think I can fire a portal through there, can I? No? <laughs> the commentary of these portal or of these uh, turrets is hilarious. Where do I go from here? Oh, can I go up there? That's where I go. I was like, where can I fire a portal? Hello. The question for me is, 
Where? Oh, I'm stupid. There's a portal surface right in front of this wall thing. I'm still getting hit from behind. That's funny. We'll put that over there for now. <laughs> I love the defective turret voices. They're so funny. Response. Okay. Template. Dang. Response. Down the uh, the trash they go. Template. Response. It's pretty cool to get to see the inner workings of all like the turret creation and oh, all that hey, stuff. Hey, Wheatley's back. Almost there. I'm gonna love this. What exactly am I gonna love, Wheatley? Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. Template. See that scanner out there? Response. It's deciding which turrets to keep and which to toss, and it's using that template. master turret there Response. as a template. Now, if, if we pull out the template turret, it'll shut down the whole production line. Interesting. Right, um, I'm going to have to hack the door so that we can get at it. Alright. Um, you do your thing, Wheatley. I'll need to turn around. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> I find it so funny that we have to turn around for it. Really gonna make me do that? Okay. Well, that should do it. Template missing. Continuing from memory. Oh, that hasn't done it. Let's figure out how to stop this turret line. That's hilarious. Oh, hasn't done it. Any ideas? Any ideas? Just break the monitor or whatever. I am a template. Response. Did that work? Are you are you still thinking or what's happening? Can I can I become the new template? Template. Stock rejected defective. Response. Wheatley, you wanna come in here? <laughs> I feel like this is not a bad idea. Are there any Tell dead what, turrets I can grab? Just... Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, <laughs> I, have an idea. I mean, I did have an idea. Do you really want me back here? What? Oh wait! Ah, oh, no, no, no! I got it! I got it! I got it! No, I have got it. All right. Well, I'll be back then. Can I grab one of the defective ones? Response. Template. Am I gonna find? Am I able to go back far enough that I find a defective one? Sorry, what's going on over there? Response. You know, I'm actually over here still thinking really hard. I'm glad to hear that you're thinking really hard, Wheatley. <laughs> I don't think this is the intended route. It's definitely not. I can't go back here. Okay, then I don't think I have access to any of the defective turrets then. So. <laughs> Can I, like, catch one of these? Response. When they're defective, they should like throw them at me, right? Because I'm standing right by right right, right over here. And oh, all right, here we go. Okay, I think this might actually work. I'm surprised they make me go backtrack so far and have Wheatley express resistance to my backtracking. I feel like that would discourage the average player quite a bit. What what are you? Oh, brilliant! It's from us, brilliant. It is brilliant. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret. Q Glados. I'm gonna go and hack the door open. Okay, I'm about to start hacking. Response. It's a little bit more complicated than it looks from your side. It should take about ten minutes. Keep one eye on the door. Okay. Well, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a like a buzzer or an alarm card or like a hacker in there? Wheatley, you are so funny. The important thing is it's open, but just in just mention in the future. Cough or something. Knock knock. She can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Sounds good to me. Where are we gonna be doing that though? Is there anything of interest in here? It's like an old office. A very old office. Look at how few computers there are. It's like a projector screen, right? Compared to all the other technology going on here. Work day. That did not end well. 
Veggie voltage. Ah, uh, uh, typical science experiment. Batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realize they're children, but still, you know, low. <laughs> potato <laughs> power. Electrify. Or electricity from a potato. So funny. Huh. Big soda volcano. Well, okay, okay. Potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly what is this? Research, even within the child sciences. Oh, is this another potato battery? Whoa! Look at that, it's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. You certainly be malnourished, though. Do I go this way or this way? Oh, I can't go that way. Or can I go that way? No, I can't go that way. Alright, then we'll head back over this way. Interesting. So this is clearly where all the humans sure were for super like, long. Just to reassure you. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad to hear that you're pretty sure. Not super sure, but pretty sure. Alright. We'll keep on going down this way. Neurotoxin source. Looks like we're going the right direction, folks. <laughs> Absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. <laughs> what is this way, though? No, no commentary from uh, Wheatley about us following his incorrect directions. All right, looks like we're going in here. Ooh, are we at the neurotoxin source? I would think so. Are we gonna have some showdown with Glados after we disable the neurotoxin or something? I wouldn't be surprised if we were like mid shutting down the neurotoxin and that's when GLaDOS decides to confront us. Alright, so let's let's shut down this neurotoxin source. However, this episode's been going on a little bit, so we're gonna actually do that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. There were some silly goof ups with the platforming and all, but we're finally making our escape from the testing facility. We've got through quite a few puzzles, they were really interesting. And of course, we have some wonderful commentary from Wheatley again. So thank you so much to my lovely co commentator. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode just as much as I am. But until that next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.